sous chef. Yeah, but we chef. win or lose together. Like either our business succeeds or we but go down But our business is gonna succeed, but it probably succeed because I'm great. We'll check y'all later. <laughs> Welcome today to the channel. I forgot what we're recording right now. Is this the TBR? <laughs> yeah, man. TBR. <laughs> Welcome to the TBR, y'all. Shout out to y'all. Thanks for joining us. Um, TG's gonna kick us off with our list of this month, what we're going to read, watch, and game. Yeah. A Town, April, TBR. <laughs> First thing we're knocking out, and we're actually buddy reading this with our homie Aaron, is Malice. Um, as you can see, Q's already started. Oh, we got some um, some dope annotations. So this in is here. the first time I've ever ever, ever annotated a book because I like this book this much so far. I'm only, only like maybe only like 150 pages in. Pages and in. He's, he's and he's I'm already like annotated. Okay, first I'm a rookie annotator, so it looks sloppy. <laughs> so don't come at me for that. But I mean, it's it's good. It's book really is, good so far. I love this book. Yeah. And we're just, so with um with Aaron we're doing 100 page check-ins so every like two or three days yeah um and so we had our first check-in today and we were going back and forth you know talking about theories who we liked and whatnot um so I think this is a really good book for um extended buddy reading obviously me and Q buddy read every, most everything mm -hmm. uh, so we've added Aaron to it and she's been hilarious in her commentary as well <laughs> yeah. so um but now I'm look, we looking forward to malice i feel like we might knock this one out faster than we normally knock things out yeah because it looks it's, it's, it's intriguing us second book that we're reading we don't have because it's not out yet oh. but it's from our favorite series <laughs> our favorite series it actually Marna. drops on tuesday tuesday april 6th Bloodline comes out on yes. um, the ninth book in Will White's Cradle series. Again, our favorite series that we're reading bar none. Whenever Hands this series down. comes out, we stop whatever we're reading. Even if we own two pages from the end, we like, oh, no, we'll That's get back it. to it later. Done. We go back to Will White stuff. And just more people need to read Will White. Yes. We're reading his book on April 6th. We're probably going to be done with it by April 7th or 8th because it's that good. Yes. And actually, this one I think might be kind of short, right? I think this one might uh, is in the three hundreds. It is. It's a shorter jump. I, I think so. I okay. think so. I mean, his last jump was in the five hundreds, and we smashed that like yeah. under a week. So uh, yeah, Will White's the next jump we're gonna read. If we knock out Malice and Bloodline, Bloodline will definitely get knocked out. Malice seems like it's definitely gonna knocked out. We're gonna stop. So we're gonna stop some series and go to a standalone. Okay. So we're gonna go. Uh, my man, GGK, Lions of Our. We've been holding on to that for a minute. We have so. been holding on for a minute, and I think it's probably another slow burn, and probably in the vein of the Robin Hobb joint we read, yeah. Assassin's Princess. But I need, I need a break. Yeah. In True the that. multiple series that I'm juggling, I need True. a good beginning, middle, and end, and I think this might do it for us. Um, let's move like 450 pages. GGK, uh -huh. Guy Gabriel K. That's what he said. Yeah. He wrote our favorite standalone, Tigana, yep. Tigana. Um, and so, I mean, we're just hoping that uh, he comes through on this one as well. Yep. Um, so we'll see if this, if this knocks out um, Tigana, or if it knocks out um, Sword of Kaigan, Sword of Kaigan, or if it just falls to the pit and we never <laughs> mention it again. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, and if we have a really, really good reading month, if we knock all three of them out, Q, mm. We well, not, I mean, there's already two books that we really enjoy. We really enjoy, right? So we know we're gonna knock them out quick. Quick, and we have an author that we also really enjoy. So we we might we might be cooking it with, with bacon, yeah. eggs, and grits um, this this month. Uh, if we do that, we're gonna move on to the fourth Witcher book, uh, Time I'm, of Content. I'm not looking forward. To I'm not actually, looking forward to this either. Like, um, to this. It's short. Let me tell you why, because everyone tells us that this um, is just not. It's just yes. don't pop off in this book we've, like that. We've talked to many people and heard yeah. many people that says the middle series of the joint is good. It's kind of like a a burger where the the middle ain't that good, but the top and the bottom is good. I've heard the ends very well. The last two books are dope, yeah. but um, but we need to get through it. We you gotta know? get there. Yeah. And it's short. It's only like three hundred and fifty pages, if yeah. that. Um, so if we have a good reading month, we're gonna step into World of Geralt again and see what time of content talking about. So. That's our plan for knocking out our reads in April. Cool. Um, and I found some really good things that I think we should watch in April too. What we watching, bro? Um, one of them you 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 bought it to me earlier. Yes. Um, what's the joint called? Concrete Cowboy. Concrete Cowboy. So it's got Idris Elba and Caleb McCaplin from yeah. Stranger Things. Yeah. Um, in it as a father son cowboy duo. Yeah. The middle of the city is this horse stable. Like yeah. apparently everyone in this neighborhood has like horses, and that's kind of how they. Um, you know, spend their time yeah. riding horses, keeping up with the horses, yeah. stable masters, you yeah. know. Um, and I heard it's based off like a true type of clique like that. There was a yeah. true group of like modern day cowboy horsemen yeah. that, that was nurturing these horses in the middle of the city or yeah. something like that. 
Uh, you think you can tame a wild horse, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, could get, I could get a bronco. You could get a bronco? I could get a bronco, a stallion, yeah. a Clydesdale. Birds. You're like birds? I'm like birds. You know, I talk to them animals, yo. <laughs> I'll holler at your boy. You sound like birds yeah. with animals. Okay. Yeah. That's a, another one we're looking forward to is this movie called Thunder Force. So it has Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer. Uh, basically, they get superpowers and they... I rock with Octavia Spencer. Uh huh. Melissa McCarthy. She's a sometimes she's a wild card for me. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what we're gonna get. So. so my wife made me watch. I volunteered to watch Gilmore Girls with her, and that was um, that was kind of her like breakout. Like she was like a big force in Gilmore yeah. Girls. Um, and she was also powers. in um, Bridesmaids. Right? She was in Bridesmaids. Yeah, yeah she yes. was hilarious in Bridesmaids. She was. She was. So I'm thinking, hopefully, they get together and do something that's entertaining for an hour and a half. Yeah, you know, I mean, so. that means worth an hour and a half. Yeah, worth an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I might so. DNF it, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, another one that we're going to read, which is, is going to be different because we haven't done this in a while, is Shadow and Bone. Watch. Yeah, watch, watch Shadow we're and gonna Bone. We're going to watch Shadow and Bone. Cause we, so we're going to watch Shadow and Bone, and we have not read this series. Now, one reason why we're going to we're gonna try to do this is because I don't know when we would ever get to Shadow and Bone read. There's, our TBR is this long, and that book is somewhere way back there. Um, and so maybe this might be a case where we might watch the show and it might be appealing to us and we might move it up to TBR. It might be like, oh, I actually want to check out what this book yeah. is about, you know? Um, it looks like a, you know, well, high budget done Netflix show. Yeah. So we'll I see. don't know anything about it. I mean, a lot of people are kind of hype about it. I don't know yeah. Jesse May got a, a reaction video to the trailer. To the trailer? I think yeah. to the, the final trailer that just Okay. That Shout just out to Jesse. Um, um, so. I think EB has said something about it too. Yeah, I think um, EB got a video out about it or something, so. I mean, cats, you know, yeah. the community is hot and ready, you know, yeah. so we're going to watch we'll it. We'll watch it. We'll and if it's, if it's fire, we'll read it. If it's not fire, we'll somebody still, might have to somebody convince, convince us to yeah. read it. Because so. it's, it's a YA, right? I think so. We talked about, in our wrap up, but we're going to probably watch the bulk of it this, this month is Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to that, you know. We ain't gonna gush too much more about it, but so far, two episodes in, it's been pretty darn good. It's been good, yeah. And I look forward to seeing how deeper they go and expanding the universe and and digging into the character profiles. And I just wonder um, why my heroes are broke. I don't know why, and I, hopefully we get some answers to why my man are <laughs> broke. Um, slight spoiler alert: most of your heroes that you think are out here balling, they ain't named Tony or Bruce. They probably ain't got no money. No money. So I know my man Spider Man, and he ain't never had no money. Never. That's why I like them, but. Yeah, so we're gonna watch Falcon and Winter Soldier, and then one more. Um, and this is also so first few were on Netflix. Falcon and Winter Soldier is Disney Plus. This last one's Disney Plus. I don't know if you've seen this trailer. It's called The Big Shot. Um, it's got John yeah. Stamos from yeah. Full House. Basically, he is taking over as a new basketball head coach for this okay. girls' high school, okay. and they're like they're being teenage girls to this new old weird man, and like he's trying to be like stern. And like giving them a hard time, but like he has like a winning pedigree, so he's True. trying to get them to win in basketball. But he's also learning about himself and teaching them about their selves, and yeah. so like a mutual learning thing. It just reminds me of one of the old Disney movies. So I, if you one thing about me is you learn more about. I love Disney Channel Disney movies, Disney Channel movies specifically. Uh, I grew up watching those. Thought it was funny. Me and my wife watch a bunch of them. She thought they were okay. Um, so this kind of reminds me of those old Disney Channel movies. <laughs> it looks like one of the old school Disney Channel movies. I think it's gonna be straight. So, um, but that's that's all we got planned. We might watch some more things than what we listed, but those kind of yeah. things on the radar. And last couple things, what we gonna game? Uh, Jedi Fallen, Fallen Order. Yeah, Fallen Order. So um, we're in that a little bit now. Yep. Um, what you think so far, Q? Uh, the level design. Yeah, yeah. Superb. The level design is good. Superb. I will give. I forget what studio made design. the level design is really Superb good. Superb level um, design. I don't feel bad backtracking that no. because you get the powers. No. You're like, okay, cool. Like, I, I, it makes your your new power that you gain feel more useful yeah. when you backtrack and unlock different things. So it's definitely dope. Yeah. Um, and then if you're a big Star Wars fan, just the, the lore. The lore. Yeah. Is, it's good. Like to die for. So it's good. But I do feel like the gameplay mechanics are clunky. Is the they are a little clunky. They're a little clunky. They're not as smooth. And we just came off of Ghost of Tsushima, was like and that was smooth. that was butter. But, that was butter yeah. and if you think back like if you ever played force unleashed or anything yeah. like that it ain't like that yeah it ain't like it's, that. yeah it feels a little more clunky yeah. but we'll we'll, we'll we'll tell y'all how we fully feel in the wrap-up yeah and one last game i'm playing i might encourage q to, to to mess with um is this game called overcook 
don't know if any of y'all have heard of that. It's a Switch. Um, well, I think it's on different platforms, but I bought it for the Switch. And it's basically where you, you it's like a couch co-op. And so you and one other person or three other people prepare food meals. Mm -hmm. And y'all got to like work together. So like you be chopping stuff and I'm cooking stuff. And then like I put it on a plate and you give it to the customer. And the plates need to be washed. But you also got to wash the food that's boiling up. And But you also need to chop some more food. And you also need to clean some more dishes. So like you have to coordinate back and forth to keep doing that. So me and wife played for the first time last night and we had um, some intense discussions on how to best <laughs> um, operate our, our kitchen business. Um, so we, she did say she would play with me some more, but we're just ironing out the kinks of how the best Don't go about this. Don't scare her away. I'm not. I'm not. I'm enjoying playing with her. So it's been good. Uh, we're going to. We're gonna try to this figure this out. Like something more. I might try. I mean, some um, wifey might seem like she might like something like that. Yeah. And um, cause we used to play Don't Starve. Yeah. And she used to be addicted to Don't she Starve. Was. Like, she was a fan. He got her hooked. Yeah. Like, she was. She would be an out. <laughs> it was when we used to live together. <laughs> um, and at the time we were just dating or engaged or whatever and um i would go do something take a shower or whatever and i come back and she'd be she was playing the game at the tv and he'd be like oh oh dig up over there dig up over there oh it's like day eight <laughs> and then something come on she's like what are you doing no tearing run away like you gonna get me killed so yeah so yeah she I, would live she would live a very long time but I don't think she, she wouldn't explore far. Far, no. Nah, it was like her little box. <laughs> she stayed right there. <laughs> so, she, yeah. she enjoyed like kindling the fires yeah. and doing all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And that was it. That she was, was it. surviving. That, that was good enough for her. Yes. But this one over here, he would go like 200 days and then try to explore try one, to explore one hey, joint get and done. Dead. So, don't start. Don't start was fun. I don't know if fun. people still play that, but. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, give us, um, do they have frying pan emojis? Yes. They got like the egg joint. It's got like an egg in yeah, it. Yeah, give us the frying pan emoji. Mm -hmm. You made it to the end of the video. Bro, I'll probably be shit like that could. game. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, it's it's like, a I cooperative cook. game. You're supposed to work together, bro. To cook food together for the people. But can't we cook together, but still, like, I can be like the head chef and then I mean, you can be like the sous chef. Yeah, but we chef. win or lose together. Like, either our business succeeds or we but go down But our business is going to succeed, but it probably succeed because I'm great. We'll check y'all later. <laughs>